With this video, I want to talk to you about one way in which we have, as anthropologists, previously defined and thought about religious beliefs. Okay, and so we're first going to start um, with E.B. Tyler and his ideas about belief in spirits. And to kind of demonstrate the influence of theoretical perspectives on interpretations of culture, I want to first remind you of what kind of theorist Tyler was. So think to yourself for a moment, uh, see if you can come up with this, hopefully you can. So what kind of theory did E.B. Tyler um, work within? Hopefully you've come up with social or cultural evolutionism. Um, and so now I want you to pause for a moment. Think about how this type of theoretical perspective might lead someone to interpret religion. Okay, so if you're thinking um, about social evolutionism, saying that human societies progress through various stages of complexity from primitive to very complex. Okay, so how might we then describe religion, which is a very specific aspect of the culture? And so hopefully you've put these two ideas together and come up with the idea that as societies evolved, so too would their ideas about religion. And so they would evolve alongside each other, um, kind of as a product of the evolution from simple to complex society. And so he comes up with categories, right? So just like we're going to have categories of complexity of society, he's come up with categories of complexity of religion. So saying that um, more simplistic societies will have a belief in spirits, then moving on to demigods, mythical heroes, um, so human god um, blends there. Then moving on to specific gods and goddesses, um, and then finally on to a single all-powerful god. Okay, um, and again, think about the perspective he's coming from. He's coming from a society that is already ranked at the top of the totem pole here, and so their religious belief would be the most complex or um, the most intricate or the most evolved or developed. Okay, and so it follows the same pattern. And so according to Tyler and people of this belief system, primitive religions um, were because of a very fundamental error in thought processing or thinking. And these primitive people, quote unquote, tended to confuse their dreams and reality. And so this is where we start to see, according to this belief system, their religious beliefs developing is because of a simple confusion between what is real and what is dreamland. And this prompts the definition of this belief system called animism. And that's the belief that inanimate objects like trees, rocks, cliffs, hills, rivers, etc., are animated by spiritual forces and beings. Okay, so that these spirits and spiritual forces live in inanimate objects, and then because of that, they take on kind of an animated or living factor. Okay, and I, I want to just pause here for a quick moment. Um, before we move on and remind you that this is an outdated theory that was used to promote racism and injustice and things of that nature. So, yes, I've used the terms primitive religion or primitive people and saying that primitive people confuse religion um, or confuse reality and dreams. I'm using the language of the time and the language that this theory was developed within. Okay, this is not language we use today. We no longer refer to people as primitive because it implies a ranking or it implies a value judgment. Okay, and we no longer believe that people who would be classified as primitive confuse their dreams in reality or that their religious systems are very simple. Okay, um, we are now in a time period where um, we're viewing religions as complex across the board and people as complex across the board. Okay, so when you're talking about this or thinking about these um, kind of these beliefs about religion, keep that in mind that this language is outdated, that this idea is outdated. Now, animism as a definition and as a belief system is not. Okay, that is something that has held on. But referring to people as primitive or ranking societies in general or ranking religions at all, these are um, outdated ideas. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're thinking about these theories or answering questions based on these theories. 